Do you know how to increase a 90% VA disability rating to a 100% VA disability rating? Let's take a look at what we have to work with here. I'm going to throw some disabilities up, talk about them a little bit because I have some of them. So firsthand experience and uh, what I think we can do here. First one up is the right hip, 10%, service connected. It's an orthopedic condition. Metatarsalgia, right foot, 10%. Uh, fractured tooth syndrome, not service connected. We're not going to work on not service connected things here. We're going to go after service connected stuff. Patellofemoral pain syndrome, right knee, 10% service connected. Generalized anxiety disorder with panic attacks, 30% service connected. Left shoulder strain at 20% service connected. Bilateral hearing loss, not service connected. Tension headaches, 0% service connected. Tinnitus, 10% service connected. Osteoarthritis, right hip, 0%. Cervical spine strain, 20%. Uh, we got left hip, 0%. Where I'm sitting, I think the easiest way to do this increase is mental health and migraines. Let's check out the law. Mental health ratings, 0%. A mental condition has been formally diagnosed but symptoms are not severe enough either to interfere with occupational and social functioning or to require continuous medication. Zero. Ten percent. Occupational and social impairment due to mild or transient symptoms which decrease work efficiency and ability to perform occupational tasks only during periods of significant stress or symptoms controlled by continuous medication. 30%. Occupational and social impairment with occasional decrease in work efficiency and intermittent periods of inability to perform occupational tasks, although generally functioning satisfactorily with routine behavior, self-care, and conversation normal. Due to such symptoms as depressed mood, anxiety, suspiciousness, panic attacks, weekly or less often, chronic sleep impairment, mild memory loss, such as forgetting names, directions, recent events. They put all these parentheses in here, so you have to pay attention to the uh, letter of the law because this is literally the law. So he's at 30. 50%. Occupational and social impairment with reduced reliability and productivity due to such symptoms as flattened effect, circumstantial, and or stereotype speech panic attacks more than once a week, difficulty in understanding complex commands, impairment of short and long-term memory, e.g. retention of only highly learned material, forgetting to complete tasks, impaired judgment, impaired abstract thinking, disturbances of motivation and mood, difficulty in establishing and maintaining effective work and social relationships. So at 50%, you're going to start wanting to look at your um, your work relationships and your social relationships. I've struggled with both uh, since I was discharged. I didn't know why I was like that. I didn't know I had a condition. So looking in, you know, impaired judgment. My, impair my judgment's all impaired. My judgment's just straight fucked up. My thinking, my disturbances of motivation – all that kind of stuff. So 50% is a uh, no-brainer for this veteran. If you want to learn more about winning your VA claim, you need to understand the fundamentals. I break down the fundamentals in my boot camp at combatcraig.com. If you don't know where to start, I think my boot camp is a great place to start. 70% mental health rating. Occupational and social impairment with deficiencies in most areas such as work, school, family relations, judgment, thinking, or mood due to such symptoms as suicidal ideation, obsessual rituals which interfere with routine activities, speech intermittently illogical, obscure, or irrelevant, near continuous panic or depression affecting the ability to function independently, appropriately, and effectively, Impaired impulse control, such as unprovoked irritability with periods of violence, spatial disorientation, uh, neglect of personal appearance and hygiene, difficulty in adapting to stressful circumstances, including work or work-like setting, inability to establish and maintain effective relationships, 70%.
this is the rating I have, and I totally fit into this. Let's just go through a few of them. Um, deficiencies in areas, work, school, in all aspects of my life, I have deficiencies in, in my judgment, my thinking, my mood, everything. Suicidal ideation, I have that. If you have had suicidal ideation and you're hiding it because you're embarrassed about it, um, you don't want to be hiding it when you're talking to the VA about a 70% rating. You want to get that front and center and come to terms with it. You don't need to solve all your problems, but you do need to talk about uh, the suicidal ideation stuff. Obsessional rituals, which interfere with routine activities. Watching cameras all the time. Checking the doors all the time. You know, am I secure? Am I secure in my house? What is my uh, fighting plan for inside the house? What is my bug out plan? when If I have to bug out to outside of my house, you know, how am I going to defend myself? That kind of stuff. Speech intermittently illogical, obscure, or irrelevant. Um, I, I struggle to make videos because that is what most of my videos come out sounding like. Um, thank God a lot of you guys have the same problems that I do and you can kind of understand me, but I ramble all over the place and I don't make sense. I just say what comes into my mind, uh, which kind of goes into saying inappropriate stuff all the time. Like I just don't give a fuck. I say what comes into my mind and, um, I'm not getting better, so my solution for all these things is to just stay away from people. And uh, no uh, psychologist really thinks that's a good idea, but it works for me right now. Maybe later in life I'll, I'll feel a little less unhermitish. Impaired impulse control, such as unprovoked irritability with periods of violence. So for me, this one shows up when I'm like trying to do something. Like I have my backpack blower. It's like need, I need some special carburetor tools. So I got these tools. So I will not be surprised if I'm out there with my backpack blower trying to adjust the carb and I just say, fuck it. And I just start stabbing the uh, screwdrivers through the carb or through the plastic tank or something like that. Like I just, I lose it. And I just have no control over it. And again, I, I am aware of the right and wrong stuff. So I'm not doing this to other people's property, but I've spent a lot of uh, money damaging my own property because I have no control over myself. Um, it, and I really, this is a big question mark for me. I really need to get better here. It's not only is it expensive, it's just stupid. It's like a a uh, temper tantrum that you just can never get rid of. So these are, you know, some of the things in the 70% uh, mental health rating category. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Hill & Ponton. They're a VA accredited law firm based out of Orlando, Florida. And if you need help with your VA claim, they're offering a free case evaluation at their website at hillandponton.com. 100% total occupational and social impairment due to such symptoms as gross impairment in thought processes or communication, persistent delusions or hallucinations, grossly inappropriate behavior, persistent danger of hurting self or others, intermittent inability to perform activities of daily living, including maintenance of minimal personal hygiene, disorientation to time or place, memory loss for names of close relatives, own occupation or own name. Um, I glazed over the personal hygiene part um, because I don't have that problem, but you might. And you don't need to have all these things. You need to have a majority of these things. And if you're in the 70% category, you're going to have things in 70, 50, 30, 10, and zero. So you're going to have stuff showing up all over the place. With 100% total occupational and social impairment, you have to be there to get the rating, right? Gross impairment in thought process or communication. Persistent delusions or hallucinations. I have delusions. I am delusional to an extent, and I have hallucinations. Um, but they do not come to the to the level of a hundred percent rating for me. They come and go, and they're relatively under control. Grossly inappropriate behavior, you, you know, all these things. I think the easiest way to think about a hundred percent VA disability rating, and and you trying to fit yourself into this, 
If you get a 5150 lockdown, 72 hour lockdown, psych hold, take away your guns, take away your freedom, and throw your ass in a crazy hospital, or a 5250, I think that's the two week hold, that is good medical evidence for a 100% rating. What's your arrest record look like? Because you have no control over yourself and your inappropriate behavior and you're assaulting people. You know, that's what the VA is going to be looking for medical lockdown stuff and arrest record stuff. If you have it, it's got to be embarrassing for you. Bring it forward. This is the time to not be embarrassed for it because this could be a hundred percenter on its own and you're done. hundred percent PNT game over. If you want to learn more about winning your VA claim, you need to understand the fundamentals. I break down the fundamentals in my boot camp at combatcraig.com. All right, let's go over the other one, the headaches. They were tension headaches. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're all rated under diagnostic code 8100. So you have 0% with less frequent attacks. 10% characteristic prostrating attacks averaging one in two months over the last several months. So the key word here is prostrating. That, that means lay down. Don't use that in your personal statement. Um, I would use lay down because it's a layman term. Prostrating is more of a medical term. But if your headaches cause you to lay down, averaging one every two months over the past several months, that's a 10% rating. 30% with characteristic prostrating attacks occurring on an average of once a month over the last several months. So now we're ramping it up. This is all about the prostrating attacks because they're debilitating. If you're having debilitating attacks over and over and over again, you are severely having uh, problems with your uh, work and your social life. The 50% rating is with very frequent, completely prostrating and prolonged attacks productive of severe economic inadaptability. So 10% is averaging one in two months over the past couple months. 30% is an average of once a month over the past couple of months. 50% is once a week or more, right? It happens regularly. This is where the migraine log comes in because when the CMP examiner is asking you about your last attack or what they're like, it's best to give them the log, you know, like, I don't remember. I have so many fucking migraine headaches. I don't remember them all here. Here's my last hundred. And you can't bring that to your CNP exam, but you want to submit this log when you file your claim so they can see it. He may ask you and, and check it. And you know, how many have you had? You can just pull out the log and, and here's what they are. Here's what they're like. The uh, CNP exam for headaches. Uh, he can't really check your headaches um, because he can't make you have a headache and he has no clue how bad your headaches are. So migraine log, take their stupid meds, report it constantly. Every time you have a headache, go to my healthy vet and tell your primary care, I have a headache. Uh, go to urgent care, go to your private doctor, get complaints in medical records everywhere you can. That is how you uh, build and successfully win a uh, headache claim. That's the list. And because he's already service connected for a couple of things, that I think can be increased, that's the path that I'm going to choose for him. Uh, the reason why increasing ratings is easier is you do not need a new diagnosis and you do not need a nexus because you're already service connected, so you don't have to establish that stuff again. All you have to do is explain why your current symptoms are more severe and why that warrants an increase in your VA disability rating. You guys that have followed me for a while are pretty good at this stuff. What did I leave out and what are some other paths? Leave a comment below. Also, if you enjoy this kind of content, please considering the subscribe button and hit the like button as well, or the like finger or whatever that thing's called. You wanna get in and out when you're dealing with the VA. My analogy for today is strike like a mongoose. You want to get in and you want to get out. The more you're in there dicking around with the VA, the more chance you're giving them to open up your claim and reduce something else.